Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Foundation Revision video. There's a week or seven days to go into your GCSE Maths exam, so keep up the hard work, you're doing really, really well. And today what I thought I'd do is, rather than focus on a new topic, I'll come back to a topic that's really important, and that's ratio. So we've looked at ratio previously, and today what I've done is I've got some problem-solving questions involved in ratio. So in this video, I'm going to give you some problem-solving questions. Feel free to pause the video to try the questions first yourself, and then I'll go through them and explain how I would tackle them. So in this video, we're going to be focused on ratio and particularly problem solving questions involving ratio. So let's get started. Hi, today we're going to look at ratio. Now we've looked at ratio previously, but what we're going to do in this video is I've got a selection of ratio questions. I've got seven ratio questions that I've got for you to practice with seven days to go. And with these ratio questions, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them up. I'm going to get you to press pause and to try them. And then once you've tried them, I'm going to go through them. But it's just really to give you an opportunity to practice some more ratio questions because it is such an important topic on your GCSE Foundation Maths exam. So here we've We've got a table, it's got some countries and it's got the number of gold, silver, bronze and the total number of medals they won in Olympic Games. And the question says write down the ratio of the total number of gold medals won to the total number of bronze medals won. So press pause and try that now. Okay, so in terms of this question, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out the total number of gold medals won and the total number of bronze medals won, and then I'm going to write it as a ratio and then simplify it if I can. Now, this is a calculator question, so I'm going to add up these numbers in the gold column to begin with. We get 62, so altogether there were 62 gold medals won by these countries. And then in terms of the bronze medals, we're going to add up these numbers, so let's do that. And that's equal to 74. So these countries won 62 gold medals and 74 bronze medals. Now I've been asked to write down the ratio of the total number of gold medals won to the total number of bronze medals won. So that'll be 62 to 74. And then let's cancel that down. They're both even. So let's divide them both by 2. So that'll be 31 to 37. And that's it. And this can't be cancelled down any further. So that's it. We're done. So the ratio of the total number of gold medals won to the total number of bronze medals won will be 31 to 37. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says is between 30 and 40 sweets in a bag and Ben and Daisy share the sweets in the ratio of 3 to 8. And we're told there's no sweets remaining left in the bag after they've shared the sweets out. And the question says how many sweets were there in the bag to begin with? So press pause and work this out now. Okay, so because we know that they share the sweets in the ratio of 3 to 8, that means that for every 3 sweets Ben gets, Daisy gets 8. So that means that it could have been 3 and 8 to begin with, so it would be 11 sweets altogether. Now that wouldn't work because it has to be between 30 and 40 sweets. So in other words, let's just write here Ben and Daisy. So Ben and Daisy. And then if we write down the total number of sweets, so if they had received 3 and 8 altogether, there would be 11 sweets altogether. So that's not going to work. Ben could have received 6 if we double this, and Daisy could have received 16. So obviously 6 plus 16 is equal to 22. Now that couldn't work either because there has to be between 30 and 40 sweets in the bag. If Ben received 9, Daisy would have received 24, just times in these both by 3, or adding on another 3 and another 8. And 9 plus 24 is equal to 33 sweets. And that would work because there's between 30 and 40 sweets in the bag. And that's it, so there must have been 33 sweets in the bag. And just to show you, if there was another 3 and another 8, then they would add together to be 44, and that could be in the bag so the total number of sweets in the bag to begin with must have been 33. Now another way we could have approached this question would have been to do 3 plus 8 is equal to 11 so every single time we share some sweets we're sharing at 11 at a time and then we're just looking for a multiple of 11 in between 30 and 40 so it would have to be 33 and that's it. Okay let's have a look at our next question. So next question says a group of 36 people visit a cafe and each person buys a coffee. A regular coffee costs £2.50 and a large coffee costs £3 and the ratio of regular coffees to large coffees sold to the group was 2 to 7. And the question says, work out the total amount of money spent on coffee by the group. So feel free to press pause now and to work this out. And just before you begin, this is a calculator question, so you can use a calculator for this question. Okay, so in terms of this question, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work out how many regular coffees were sold to the group and how many large coffees were sold to the group. So there's 36 people and they bought a coffee each. So what we're going to do is we're going to share 36 in the ratio 2 to 7. And that'll tell us how many regular coffees were sold and how many large coffees were sold. So the share 36 in the ratio 2 to 7, I'm going to do 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. And then I'm going to take 36, the total, and I'm going to do 36 divided by 9, and that's equal to 4. So that means there's four in each part. So what we're now going to do is we're going to multiply four by two parts and we're going to multiply four by seven parts. So if we take four and multiply by two, that's equal to eight. And if we take four and we multiply by seven, that's equal to 28. So that means that there will be eight regular coffees and 28 large coffees sold. So that's eight regular and 28 large. 
So we've just shared 36 in the ratio 2 to 7, and we've worked out how many regular coffees and how many large coffees were sold. Now we've been asked to find the total amount of money spent on coffee. Well, each regular coffee costs £2.50, so we're going to need to multiply that by 8, and each large coffee costs £3, so we're going to need to multiply that by 28. So let's do that. So let's take our £2.50 and multiply that by 8 and see what we get, and let's take our £3 and multiply that by 28 and see what we get, and then we can add them together to find the total amount of money spent on coffee. So £2.50 multiplied by 8 is equal to £20. And 3 multiplied by 28 is equal to £84. And if we add them together, well, 20 plus 84, well, 20 plus 84 is equal to £104. So this group spent £104 on coffee. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So next question says, the sizes of interior angles of a quadrilateral are in the ratio of 3 to 4 to 5 to 8. And we've been asked to calculate the size of the largest angle. So press pause now and work that out. Okay, so we know that the angles in a quadrilateral add together to be 360 degrees. So the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Now we know they're in the ratios 3 to 4 to 5 to 8. So let's share 360 in this ratio. So let's add together the parts in the ratio 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 8. And that's equal to 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 plus 5 is equal to 12 plus 8 equal to 20, so that's 20. And then we're going to take our 360 and divide it by the total number of parts, so divide by 20, and that'll tell us how many degrees are in one part. And 360 divided by 20 is equal to 18. So that means it's 18 degrees in one part. Now, we, if we wanted to work out the size of each of the angles, we would take 18 and we would multiply by 3, we'd take our 18 and multiply by 4, we'd take our 18 and multiply by 5, and we'd take our 18 and multiply by 8, and that would tell us the size of all four angles. But the question says work out the size of the largest angle, so what we're going to do is I'm going to focus on this angle here. This is the largest angle, so if we take our 18 and multiply by 8, that'll tell us the size of the largest angle. And 18 multiplied by 8 is equal to 144 degrees. So the size of the largest angle in this quadrilateral is 144 degrees and if you got that well done okay let's have a look at our next question so the next question says isaac and victoria share money in the ratio two to five and victoria receives 120 pound and the question says work out the difference between how much money isaac receives and victoria receives so feel free to press pause and try this now Okay, so in terms of this question, we're told how much money Victoria receives. Now, if we look at the ratio, her part in the ratio is 5. So if we take the £120 and divide that by 5, we can find out how many pounds is in one part. And 120 divided by 5 is equal to £24. So that means it's £24 in one part. Now, if we multiply that by 2, Isaac's number in the ratio, we can find how much money Isaac receives. So £24 multiplied by 2 is equal to £48. So that means Isaac receives £48, so he receives £48, and she receives £120. And we could check that if we actually write this as a ratio, 48 to 120, and cancelled it down, you would get 2 to 5. Now, the question says work out the difference between how much money Isaac receives and Victoria receives. So we just need to take these away now. So we need to do 120, take away 48, and work out the difference between them. So 0 take away 8, let's borrow. So that's going to be a 1 and a 10. 10 take away 8 is equal to 2. And again, we're going to borrow. So we've got 11 take away 4 is equal to 7. So the difference in the amount of money they received is £72. And that's it. And if you got that, well done. OK, let's look at our next question. Okay, so our next question says, Alex is 12 years older than George, and Carl is three times older than Alex, and the sum of their ages is 68. And the question says, find the ratio of George's age to Carl's age to Alex's age. Okay, so press pause now and work this out. Now in this question, we're told that Alex is 12 years older than George, and also Carl is three times older than Alex. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let Alex be equal to X years old. So I'm actually going to write this down, Alex. So Alex, I'm going to let him be X years old. Carl is three times older than Alex, so that means that Carl is three times older than Alex. We take Alex's age and we'd multiply by three. So Carl, to get his age, we're going to take Alex's age and multiply by three. So three times X is three X. So we've got Alex's age, we've got Carl's age. Now let's get George's age. So Carl is three X, Alex is X, and George, well, Alex is 12 years older than George. So to find George's age, if we take 12 away from Alex's age, that'll be George's age. So Alex is 12 years older than George, so that means that George is 12 years younger than Alex, that's going to be X take away 12. So they're the algebraic expressions for each of their ages. Now in this question you may have let George be equal to X and then you would have found that Alex was X plus 12 and that Carl was 3X plus 36. That's fine as well. Um, obviously you would be finding George's age as X, but in 
in this question I'm finding Alex's age as X whenever you solve the equation you're going to find all of their ages anyway so it doesn't actually matter which way around you've done it okay so we've got Alex's age is X Carl's age is 3x and George's age is X minus 12 now the sum of their ages is 68 that means if you add them all up we're going to get 68 so let's add up the algebraic expressions X plus 3x is 4x plus another x is 5x that's 5x take away 12 so that's what we get when we add up their ages now we know that's equal to 68 so let's write that down 5x minus 12 is equal to 68 now let's add 12 to both sides of this equation so add 12 and add 12 so that means that we get 5x on the left hand side on the right hand side 68 plus 12 is equal to 80 and if we divide by 5 and divide by 5 we're going to get that x is equal to 16. so that means that alex is 16 years old so alex is 16 years old carl is three times that age so three times 16 is 48 and george is 12 years younger so, so 16 take away 12 is equal to 4. so that means their ages are 16 48 and 4. okay now the question says the right down the ratio of George's age that's 4 to Carl's age which is 48 to Alex's age which is 16 so that's the ratio let's cancel it down so all of these numbers are divisible by 4 so if we divide 4 by 4 we get 1 if we divide 48 by 4 we get 12 and if we divide 16 by 4 we get 4 so the ratio of George's age to Carl's age to Alex's age is 1 to 12 to 4 and if you got that well done okay let's take one more question so this question if we have a look at it it says a bag contains red yellow and blue beads and we're then told that the ratio of red beads to the yellow beads is three to eight the ratio of yellow beads to blue beads is six to seven and we've been asked what fraction of the beads are red so feel free to press pause and to work this out now okay so in this question we've been given two ratios we want to form one ratio so let's write down red yellow and blue and let's write down the ratios we've been given the ratio of red to yellow is three to eight so three to eight for red to yellow and yellow to blue yellow to blue is six to seven so six to seven so we've got the ratios three to eight and six to seven now we want to form one ratio so i'm going to look at the yellows because we've got eight parts here and six parts here and i'm going to find a common multiple of eight and six so i'm going to go for 24 so 24 and to get from eight to 24 we multiply by three so if we multiply eight by three we're going to need to multiply three by three and three times three is equal to nine so that would be nine there in terms of this one this ratio six to seven to get from six to 24 we'd multiply by four so we'd multiply by four there so that means we're going to need to multiply the seven by four and that's equal to 28 I'm just showing we're working there for the first ratio again so we had three to eight we times both of those by three and we got nine to 24 the second ratio with six to seven we times both of those by four and we got 24 to eight and now we've just got one ratio the ratio of red to yellow to blue is nine to 24 to 28 and this can't be cancelled down so that's it now the question says what well, fraction of the beads are red well it's going to be nine on the numerator and then in terms of the denominator we'll add these together to find the denominator so 9 plus 24 plus 28 is equal to 61 so it means that 9 60 once of the beads are red and that's it and if you got that well done and that's it so in this video we've looked at ratio and we've looked at problem solving questions involving ratio i really hope you find it useful there's a week to go so keep up the hard work we've working through those past papers you're making sure that if there's any particular topics you struggle with you're doing something about it so you're perhaps watching the video tutorial on Colbert Mavs or you're asking your teacher or you're asking a friend or you're doing some practice questions on them so make sure any topic you find tricky at this point you're trying to do something about it but keep up the hard work and i'll see you tomorrow for the next video cheers bye